The year, 2020. The mood, stir crazy. The budget, momentarily flexible. I found myself scrolling. Where could I go for a quick getaway? A place to work on my book, and maybe get some inspiration for future projects. I landed on a place I'd been before, saw there was an opening in a sea of booked weekends. I snagged it, packed my bag, kissed the family goodbye, and headed out on the road. With water in hand and snacks at the ready, I started the six-hour drive to Dolan Springs, Arizona, for a short getaway at the Broken Arrow Camp. This was my second stay at the Broken Arrow Camper, the first time being at the end of a nearly two-week cross-country journey with my best friend, but that's a story for another time. The owners of the camper, Gigi and Kyle, were kind enough to crank up the AC so my arrival at the end of a hot day would be comfortable. When I arrived, the camper was super clean and tidy, which, as we know, is especially important these days. Camper, the decorations, everything had a southwestern feel. Basic amenities were provided. You got a kitchen, you got a bathroom, dining area, bed. But you'll also find soap, shampoo, towels, and toilet paper, as well as a well-stocked pantry with spices, teas, and coffee, and tourist information as well. And after a long drive, it was great to find a complimentary chocolate bar in the fridge, as there was the first time I had visited. So, thank you guys, that was much appreciated. But as wonderful as the camper is inside, it's the outside that I love just as much. There's three seating areas, but my favorite is the love seat under the Joshua tree. It's so comfortable, perfect for winding down at the end of the day with a cool beer and that Stephen King novel you've been meaning to finish. This is also the place you should go to watch the sky as night falls. Overhead, you'll see plenty of stars, as well as the occasional meteor, satellites, and planes flying overhead. Dolan Springs is about an hour and 15 minutes away from the Las Vegas Strip and about 40 minutes from Kingman, though the town itself has basic amenities like food, a post office, and a gas station. You also find some trails nearby. During my stay, I drove about 30 minutes south to Chloride, an old mining town from the mid-19th century that's still inhabited to this day. There's a few shops, a lodge, a restaurant, as well as this cool cactus garden and the Purcell murals, which may or may not be accessible depending upon the weather while you're there um, and the vehicle that you have, so be sure to evaluate the situation and stay safe. The Broken Arrow Camper was a perfect short trip away to work on my book and take in the sights of the Southwest. This place is a great value considering it's private, well-stocked, extra clean, and in a beautiful location. It's just a short drive from a main highway where you can drive north to Vegas or south towards the Grand Canyon. Because the owners are in the antiques business and it's their interest, they've decorated this place perfectly to complement its southwestern location. So, what are my final thoughts? If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, just search Escape with Charlene, and support this channel by visiting my merch shop on Society6.com. Thanks for watching.